I want to do a quick video comparing round PVC rails to square PVC rails for hydroponic growing. I've been using both systems now for a while. I had built the round ones first and then later on moved towards square. And overall I like the square better, but I wanted to go into detail about what the advantages of it are. So the first thing is stability. One disadvantage of the round rails is that the net cups can never fully rest on the rail. So you can see they can bounce back and forth. And so that becomes a bigger problem as the plants get bigger. You can see this one's top heavy, so it kind of leans over. So when they get really big, they can really start leaning. And um, I don't like that as much. It's not a huge deal, but it is something, it is a disadvantage. The square rails allow for very stable cups. So these can't rock back and forth because the entire edge of the net cup is resting on top of the flat square rail. Another advantage of the square rails is that you can put more net cups into the same area. So here I can go double wide for the seedlings when they don't really need to be spaced very far apart. And then later on, it's hard to see, but I have these staggered. So there's a plant here, then I go back and then back toward the front of the rail and back. So that allows me again to use this space more efficiently. Whereas with round, you have to put all of your holes on one line right along the top. If you try to put your hole anywhere besides right in the middle, if you tried to put one here, then everything would be tilted and it wouldn't work. So I had to do my seedlings all just in one line down the center of the pipe. Other factor is external connections. So with the round, the only place you can really get a flat watertight connection into the rail is on the ends. That's the only flat spot on the whole rail is right on the ends. So that's where I had to put all my connections. And then the only way to connect the round PVC together is with full PVC tees like this. And these are permanent, so you can't take these apart. With the square tubing, the only spot that you can't connect to is on the ends. You you might be able to do it, but that that's the hardest spot to connect to. So I made all my connections onto the side of it. The nice thing about connecting to the side is that you can connect just about anywhere you need to and at whatever height you want to. It also allows you to make connections that are removable. So here I have a union and this I can unscrew this union and then separate these two. So all four of my rails can be separated apart easily and then moved or cleaned or whatever else I need to do. Whereas the ones on the top, they're together for life. This also makes the square tubing more modular. So you could create two rails and then decide later on you want to add a couple, two more and you don't have to completely rebuild the system. So I've actually done that. I used to just have two rails here growing lettuce. Then I decided I wanted to add another two rails for herbs and for strawberries. So I went ahead and did that and then just made two extra ones and then um, attached them on. So that's, that's a big advantage of using the square. The square also has more room for the roots to grow. So the roots can utilize the entire four inch by four inch square. Whereas in the round tube, the roots have space, they have a full four inches wide to use in the middle. But then as you go toward the bottom, it constricts back down again. So there's not as much room inside, inside of the tube for the roots to grow on the round versus the square. Of course, the disadvantage of this is that it means that the square tubes have more water in them at any given time which makes them heavier and they take more water out of the reservoir to keep circulation going. Probably the biggest disadvantage of the square tubing is just the construction is a little more difficult. So the square 
tubing I use here is fence posts. And the thing about fence posts is that they're not necessarily made to be watertight. So when you put these caps on, there's going to be little gaps in the corners because they're not, it's not a tight plumbing fitting. So I had to use some silicone to fill in um, the gaps in the corners. So that just took a little practice when I was first building these square systems. Whereas the round tubing, you're using PVC fittings that are made to be watertight. So as long as you use the PVC glue, they attach together real nice and extremely watertight right away. And they're extremely strong. So the construction is probably a little bit easier with the round tubing. Round tubing also could be a little bit easier to find depending on where you are. Um, home improvement stores seem to generally carry both, but this one's always in stock where you may have to order the fence posts online. So overall, I would say that definitely both, both methods will work using round or square, but overall I definitely would recommend going with the square tubing if you can. We hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like. Also, check out our website, simplegreenshydroponics.com, where we have some tutorials on how to build a system just like this with the square tubing. And it kind of goes into detail about how I um, worked through the extra challenges that you have with using the square PVC for building. Thanks.